In my last video, I showed you how to use the TP4056 charger board with an 18650 lithium ion battery. But what happens if you want to use it with a lower capacity lithium polymer battery? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the resistor to lower the charging current to make it safe to use a lithium polymer battery. Stick around. Hello everyone, Ruben here. Welcome to another video in my learning by making series. Today I'm going to show you how to swap out the resistor that controls the charging current on the TP4056 charger board. The charging current on the TP4056 charger board is set to 1 amp. That's too high when we want to charge a lower capacity lithium polymer battery. So we need to swap out this resistor to lower the charging current. It's not too difficult to swap out this SMD resistor. It's a 0805 package SMD resistor. I'm going to show you how to replace it with another 0805 SMD resistor. You can also replace it with a regular quarter watt resistor. You'll just have to cut the leads a little short. Check your battery's data sheet to figure out what the maximum charging current should be. Take a look at the TP4056 data sheet. There's a table in there with resistor values for R3 and the resulting charging current. Use that table to figure out what resistor value you need to use for your battery. Now to do this, I'm going to use a couple of tools. I'm going to use these fine point tweezers to grab the SMD component, a flux pen, some soldering wick, and a soldering iron. To make it a little bit easier, I'm also going to use my microscope. You don't have to use a microscope, but it does make it a lot easier. You can use a magnifying glass if you don't have a microscope. Now I'm going to swap over to the microscope so you can see what I'm doing. Here's the board under my microscope. As you can see, a microscope makes it a lot easier to see the tiny little SMD components. I attached the board to my microscope with a piece of tape so it doesn't move around while I work. The first thing we want to do is add a little bit of more solder to both ends of the resistor. Um, we're going to slowly heat it up and just go back and forth as you can see here and it should just come right off just like this. Let's take it out. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to get rid of all that extra solder that's on the two pads. We do that with a desoldering wick. I'm going to grab some of my desoldering wick and bring it up to the pads with the soldering iron. And when I apply heat, the soldering wick is going to pick up all that extra solder. And I want to make sure that I grab every piece of solder. There you go. So now that we've taken the solder out, I'm going to add a little bit of flux. The flux is going to do two things. It's going to clean the board and it's also going to make the new solder flow in a lot easier. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tin one of the pads. Just a little bit of solder. I'm going to add a little bit more flux. You can never have too much flux. I'm going to use the tweezers to hold the SMD resistor in place while I solder one end. The flux should make this flow really fast. There you go, one end is attached. And I'm gonna add a little bit more flux. And now I'll just solder the other end. As you can see, I don't have the steadiest hands, but it doesn't really matter. It's not, not too difficult. You just touch it really fast and the solder flows. So it's not as pretty as it was before, but it's functional. And you can see it's attached. That's not going anywhere. Now I'm gonna clean the board. I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol to wipe this down and get rid of all that extra flux. But if you noticed, I cheated. I did not have another 0805 SMD resistor, so I just reattached the one that I removed. 
And that's it. Now you've replaced the resistor and lowered the charging current. Now to test this, you can use your multimeter on pins one and two of the TP4056 chip to check what resistance you're getting. It should match the value of the resistor you just added. Now you can safely recharge your lithium polymer battery. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you in the next video.